Hello one, hello all. It's time for Royan's Poetry Corner. Um, today, we're gonna talk about different um, types of poems. And I don't mean subject matter. What I mean is how the poems are structured. We've talked about the elements of poetry, the elements of how a poem is structured. Uh, okay, the anchor charts, oh, it's all the way over there. I had to take it off because the sticky part fell off. But a line, you know, a line, it's like a sentence in a poem. We talked about a stanza, which is a group of poems. It's almost like a paragraph in a poem. Uh, we talk about repetition, you know, words are repeated. And we talk about rhyme and rhyme scheme. Now, all those things are usually brought together to form specific types of poem, poems. And uh, I found this great website, a fellow teacher made this website, and it's such a great resource. And I'm gonna try and send the link to you guys, but I don't know if you're going to be able to access it, because the school is so finicky about different like what is acceptable for you guys so I, I, I'm gonna link it but I'm also gonna go over some of the stuff on it so I don't feel like you're let, losing out if you can't access it um, and like I said we're gonna look at four types today and we'll go over some more types tomorrow but I want to focus on a few of them today number one is a couplet a couplet and then I realize that green is probably hard to see with the lights See if I can turn that off. I don't think that helped anymore. Maybe it'll look okay for you guys when you're up close to the screen. Couplet. Okay, a couplet is a unit of verse consisting of two lines that usually rhyme. Now, you've all heard the word couple, I'm sure. Give me a couple minutes, guys. Oh, I'll be there in a couple. A couple means two, usually, in general speak, when you're conversing with someone normally. A couple minutes, guys, I'll be there. So a couple means two. So a couplet is simply two lines, a poem that consists of two lines. And they usually rhyme. And it has an example right here. It says, nature's shows. Nature puts on its little, puts on little shows every time it rains or snows. So shows and snows both have the same end rhyme sound. So a couplet is two lines, it's a poem that usually, it's consisting of two lines that usually rhyme. Now the key word there is usually, because maybe they don't always rhyme, but usually it's two lines that rhyme. A two line poem, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, so we looked at couplet, and we're going to look at this one here. It's a weird C word, and it's called syncane, a syncane poem. And I'm actually, I'm going to get you guys these uh, screens. I'll, I'll get screenshots and send them to you. Syncane. Syncanes have five lines. Line one is a title, a noun. Line two is a description, two words. Line three is action words, so verbs. Line four is a feeling, four more words. And line five, five is a title, synonym for the title, one word. So this example, dogs, furry friendly, barking, fetching, playing, friends when you need them, pets. Line one, Line one, title, noun, word. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. The title, dogs, it's a noun, one word. You know, if you wanted to do, um, toys, you could start off, you could, you, if you wanna write about, let's say transformers, you start off talking about toys. Description, two words, furry, friendly. Line 
Line three, action. Three words, barking, fetching, playing. So that's, see it says guys, it gives the description right here. Sin Cane poem has three words in that line. Line four, feeling. Four or more words. So four or more, it has to, so it means it has to be at least four. And they have one, two, three, four, five. Friends when you need them. And then the final one is a title, but it's a synonym for the title, pets. Pets is another synonym for dogs, right? If I say I have a pet, people either assume I probably have a cat or a dog. That's a synonym for dogs. So a sin cane has this specific format. Dog, title, one word, it's a noun. Line two is a description, it's two words. Describe the dog, furry, friendly. Line three, action, three words. And this person uses barking, fetching, playing. Three words, actions. It's actions that dogs do when you're playing with them, right? And then line four is a feeling. A feeling that, you know, feeling that dogs give you. And this person says, friends when you need them. How sweet. And then the last line, pets. It's a synonym for the title. So we've looked at a couplet, we've looked at sin cane. Ooh, acrostic poems. I really like acrostic poems, guys. Um, acrostic poems are cool in their simplicity. Maybe? Okay. Acrostic. An acrostic poem uses the letters in the topic word to begin each line. All the lines of the poem should relate to or describe the poem. Probably describe the subject of the poem. So for this instance, or this example, if you look over here, the acrostic poem is the topic of your poem. Each letter is written down right here. Sun, S-U-N. Every line in the poem begins with the first letter of that word. So sun, then we have sun shines brightly you up in the sky and nice and warm on my face acrostic poem you could do um let me see here you could do let's go back to dogs d o g Dependable friends. Dependable friend. One that is always there. Great to be around. D-O-G, then you use the first letter just to write a little poem. I think it's cool. I think it's pretty creative. And if any of you are really liking this poetry stuff, please, please email me. Let me know because I like to work further with you and really develop uh, a love of poetry. Okay, so we've looked at couplet, syncane, and acrostic. We're going to look at one more poem type today, and tomorrow we'll resume looking at some more. And this next one, this last one we're going to look at today, is diamante. What word do you hear in diamante, or do you think you see in diamante? Diamond, right? Diamante, a seven-line, diamond-shaped poem in this form. Now, it's got a specific form. It's, it's like a syncane, kind of. Line one, noun or subject, one word. 
Line two, two adjectives describing the subject. Remember, and we've talked about adjectives, maybe you don't remember, but adjectives are um, words that describe nouns. Like the, the handsome man, the pretty girl, handsome and pretty are adjectives. Then line three is three words ending in ing relating to the subject. Line four, two words describing the subject and two words describing its opposite. Line five, three words ending in ing relating to the opposite. Line six, two words describing the opposite of the subject, so adjectives. And line seven is opposite one word. And in this case, they start off with lion, majestic, proud, roaring, snarling, prowling, mane, muscle, fleece, fluff, bleeding, leaping, grazing, meek, gentle, lamb. Do you see how it went from lion to lamb? So line one, noun or subject, one word, subject lion. Line two, two adjectives describing the subject. So two words to describe the subject, majestic, proud. Line two, three words ending in ing relating to the subject. So these three words have to be, end in ing and they have to relate to a lion, roaring, snarling, prowling. Line four, two words describing the subject, so two words describing the lion, and two words describing its opposite. Well, we've been working with antonyms, so you guys should be pretty cool with opposites, right? So two words describing lion, main muscle, then two of the four words, half of them, are about the opposite, which is a lamb, fleece, fluff. Line five, three words ending in ing relating to the opposite. So three words ending in ing relating to a lamb, bleeding, leaping, grazing. Then two words describing, two adjectives describing that subject, meek, gentle, one word, opposite one word, opposite the lion, lamb. Yeah, I can get on board with that, right? So we're going to look at Diamantes. We're going to look at acrostic poems. We're going to look at couplets and syncanes. Oh, it's Adobe Flash Player. Okay, um, I'm gonna get all those informational pieces to you, and you're gonna focus on writing one type of each poem. Sound cool? Let me know if you need help, guys. All right, Royans. Oh.